October 4th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 115 and 116 of the Old Testament. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name bring honor for the sake of your loyal love and faithfulness. Why should the nation say, Where is their God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever he pleases. Their idols are made of silver and gold. They are man-made. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see, ears but cannot hear, noses but cannot smell, hands but cannot touch, feet but cannot walk. They cannot even clear their throats. Those who make them will end up like them, as will everyone who trusts in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their deliverer and protector. O family of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their deliverer and protector. You loyal followers of the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their deliverer and protector. The Lord takes notice of us. He will bless. He will bless the family of Israel. He will bless the family of Aaron. He will bless his loyal followers, both young and old. May he increase your numbers, yours and your children's. May you be blessed by the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. The heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to mankind. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any of those who descend into the silence of death. But we will praise the Lord now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. I love the Lord because he heard my plea for mercy and listened to me. As long as I live, I will call to him when I need help. The ropes of death tighten around me. The snares of Sheol confronted me. I was confronted with trouble and sorrow. I called on the name of the Lord. Please, Lord, rescue my life. The Lord is merciful and fair. Our God is compassionate. The Lord protects the untrained. I was in serious trouble and he delivered me. Rest once more, my soul, for the Lord has vindicated you. Yes, Lord, you rescued my life from death and kept my feet from stumbling. I will serve the Lord in the land of the living. I had faith when I said I am severely oppressed. I rashly declared all men are liars. How can I repay the Lord for all his acts of kindness to me? I will celebrate my deliverance and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord before all his people. The Lord values the lives of his faithful followers. Yes, Lord, I am indeed your servant. I am your lowest slave. You saved me from death. I will present a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord before all his people. In the courts of the Lord's temple in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. God, you have answered many, many prayers for me, more than I will ever be able to count. And I also know more than I will be aware of. Some came in answers that made sense to me. Some came in answers that didn't make sense to me. Some were gigantic. Some were small. But all were amazing because they came from you. And I love this psalm that says, God answered something just incredibly crazy awesome and how can I repay the Lord and we know that nothing we can do can fully repay you for your acts of kindness towards us for your acts of love towards us but the psalmist the singer goes on to say that they will celebrate their deliverance number one they will find joy in that answer it doesn't say that they received the answer they wanted but they will still celebrate that answer Next, it goes on to say, I will call on the name of the Lord. That I will give you credit for, for what has happened in my life. Whether it makes sense to me or not, I will give you credit. It goes on to say, I will present a thank offering to you in your name. And I will fulfill my vows to you before all your people. That means lead a life that shows all the crazy, awesome, amazing, miraculous answers to prayers you've done in my life. Not just keep them in my heart between you and I, but to live a life that's worthy of all those answers and all those non-answers to my prayers so that they glorify you. 
And then also talks in the courts of the Lord's temple in your midst, O Jerusalem, I will praise the Lord. It talks about also, I believe, going to church and sharing that information. I think too often church is a one-way conversation. You go in, you sing with a bunch of people, but it's just a group singing. Uh, And you listen to your pastor talk to you, preach to you a sermon, and then you guys leave. Kind of the only thing that we really get to participate in is maybe saying hi to somebody. How awesome would it be to be able to stop service every Sunday or whenever you go to church and, and just be able to tell about the crazy awesome things that you've done in our lives, God. I know that there's so many things that I don't know that you're doing behind the scenes, but there's so many things in my life that are incredibly obvious and I love telling other people about them. And here it's saying live a life that shows those answers, but it's also talking about being in your temple, being in your church and and letting other people know. I just think it's a great encouragement when other Christians share what you're doing in their lives. That if I'm stuck and and maybe I'm a little bit burnt out with stuff, hearing other people's stories always encourages me. I don't know what this looks like in my church, God, um, but I do know that I will definitely share all the amazing things that you've done in my life. You kind of know already that I love talking (laughs) about you. Um, But I really take that last one to heart of being able to share it with other Christians because I think that encouragement that strength building. You not only speak of it throughout the Bible, but I think it's truly important as we live lives that are a very short, short meaning a width-wise path um, that you want us to stay on. And sometimes the world shouts so much louder and celebrates so much louder than we do. And I think it's time that, that we reverse that trend. God, I thank you for all that you have given me and all that you have not given me. They are all amazing answers to my prayers. In your son's name I pray, amen.